One of the most common things I hear about Staffies, regardless of whether someone is talking positively or negatively about the breed, is that you need to be careful with Staffies because they have lock jaw. By this, people mean that when a Staffie bites something or someone, the dog's jaw effectively becomes a clamp that is impossible to release. But is this true? That's what we're going to look at in today's video. So, do Staffies really have lock jaw? No. Lockjaw itself is a myth. Staffies don't have a lockjaw, nor does any other animal, as it would be hazardous for an animal to be unable to release its grip if its prey was doing serious injury in turn to the animal. Staffy breeds are famously muscular and strong, and this strength also applies to their jaws, but they're far from the strongest. How much pressure can a Staffy bite with? Staffordshire Bull Terriers can bite with a force of 328 psi, PSI stands for pounds per square inch, while American Staffordshire Terriers, or Amstaffs, can bite with a force of 235 PSI. This leaves both breeds outside the top 10 strongest dog bite breeds, with Kangals having the strongest bite at 743 PSI. For context, the average human bite is 162 psi, while the Nile crocodile has the strongest bite in the animal kingdom with a bite force of 5,000 psi. Here are the top 15 dogs with the strongest bite force. So there we have it, Staffy breeds do not have lockjaw, nor does any other animal. If you learned something in today's video, please give it a like and consider subscribing for more Staffy info. If you've got a beloved Staffy, make sure you download our four step training guide on how to safely walk them without a lead. This can make walks so much more enjoyable for both you and your Staffy and enable you to develop an even greater and more trusting bond. Download your free guide by following the link in the description below. Thank you for watching.